Hello, I'm John Young, president of Jefferson Parish. I'm asking all the citizens of unincorporated Jefferson, Jean Lafitte, Kenner and Harahan to review this community outreach video prepared by the University of New Orleans Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. This video is designed to increase the awareness of our community about the efforts and funding in operating, maintaining, and improving our water and sewage infrastructure in Jefferson Parish. While reviewing this video, please remember that Jefferson Parish remains committed to providing our citizens with a quality of life second to none. During the course of this video, you'll hear from experts from UNO weighing in on the importance of maintaining our water and sewage infrastructure and the impact it has on our health and environment in Jefferson Parish. Please remember to vote on Saturday, October 19. On October 19, 2013, the residents of Jefferson Parish, Jean Lafitte, Kenner and Harahan will be required to vote on a property assessment tax known as a millage. The purpose of the millage is to fund the water and waste treatment facilities in the parish and related cities. The University of New Orleans has produced this video to promote awareness among the residents about the importance of Jefferson Parish infrastructure in providing clean water and sanitation. This production should help you in your decision on the proposed millage renewal scheduled for voting on Saturday, October 19th. I've been involved in public health for the last 40 years. Uh, first, clinically, I practice dentistry, and public health is very important um, to dentistry. Also, I've spent a great deal of uh, time uh, teaching, uh, uh, both at Tulane University and other universities, in public health and public health management. So um, I've been involved in, in public health issues. I've been to other parts of the world, working, working on projects to improve the, the, the health of the public. And, uh, and from my experience, Clean water and proper sanitation is the most important thing that we can have in, an, in a community, especially in an urban community as we have here. Uh, many, many diseases, both bacterial and protozoan diseases, are caused by contaminated water and improper uh, removal of sewage. Uh, so proper sanitation is very important. Many diseases actually are fatal. Please know that the faculty of the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering has been working with Jefferson Parish for many years on the critical issues of this infrastructure, and we will continue to do so because it is important to you as an individual, to your neighborhood, your community, and the southeastern region of Louisiana. Most waterborne illnesses are prevented by a well-funded and maintained public work infrastructure, such as the water and waste treatment system of Jefferson Parish. Dr. Bhaskar Kura, professor of civil and environmental engineering at the University of New Orleans, will explain how and why his department works hand in hand with the parish's public work sector and give an overview of how Louisiana ranks in the nation. At UNO, my colleagues and I do uh, teach and conduct research in sanitary and environmental engineering. We work with many municipalities around the world in advancing water and wastewater technologies to promote quality of life. American Society of Civil Engineers, ASCE, a highly respected professional organization, is concerned about the aging and failing infrastructure in the United States. Last year, ASCE prepared a scorecard for the infrastructure in the country. Louisiana received a grade of D plus drinking water and C minus for wastewater. Without treatment, the water coming into our homes would contain a myriad of diseases. Therefore, it is a vital public work. The millage not only funds day-to-day -day operations of Jefferson Parish's water infrastructure, it also helps pay for improvements as well. Jefferson Parish supplies nearly 80 million gallons of clean water to 145,000 customers daily, using nearly 1,600 miles of pipe network. One of our biggest areas of concern uh, is the actual treatment uh, facility, and something that obviously goes unseen by most people, but this is where we bring the water in from the river, treat it, uh, it gets clarified, filtered through filters like this, and then disinfected and sent out to the public. We have over a hundred contaminants that we monitor uh, because of state and federal regulations. Um, some of them on a daily, even hourly basis. Uh, some every 15 minutes. Three water treatment facilities in this parish need to be decommissioned and replaced. These improvements are made possible by loans from the local and federal government. And these loans are secured through income provided by the millage. The Property Insurance Association of Louisiana rates fire protection districts based on the water pressure and flow to hydrants, which is maintained by Jefferson Parish's water treatment facilities. 
This rating helps determine homeowner insurance premiums. Just as important as the water going into our homes is how we handle the water and waste which leaves them. And our environment trusts that we will return the water as safer, safer. Jefferson Parish's wastewater treatment facilities collect from about 105,000 residences, deliver this waste to six treatment facilities by way of 500 lift stations and 1,400 miles of pipeline. They effectively treat 57 million gallons of raw sewage a day. Dr. Kura visited Linda Daly, director of the wastewater treatment department, to get more details on the importance of the millage. I want to emphasize this is not a new tax, it is a renewal. Mm -hmm. um, the sewage millage will be renewed at up to 3.58 mils. Mm -hmm. In the past it's been up to point, uh, five, 5 mils. Mm -hmm. However, the parish council typically will roll it back so that it'll continue to generate the same amount of money as it has in the past. And it's really important that we get this millage renewal mm -hmm. because it is going to allow us to fund a lot of projects that we really need to um, complete to maintain our infrastructure and to, and to make some upgrades that are really needed. Um, right now the millage funds about one-third of the operating budget, mm -hmm. but more than that, it allows uh, it's going to allow us to borrow, borrow about $37.5 million in low interest loans mm -hmm. uh, through the state of Louisiana. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to allow us to do a lot of capital improvement projects from lift station upgrades to upgrades to the at the plants to um, force main repairs to uh, some gravity system repairs. It's going to allow us to do a lot of very important projects. Lack of adequate funding due to failure of the millage could potentially lead to a situation where Jefferson Parish is unable to meet current and future federal or state standards for treatment and disposal of treated wastewater. Repeated violation of environmental standards may attract stiff monetary penalties against Jefferson Parish by federal and state regulatory authorities. Please remember that this millage is a renewal and not a new tax. It will pay for upkeep and maintenance of water and sewer facilities and will serve as collateral for federal and state loans which will be used for infrastructure improvements. Election date is October 19th with early voting starting October 5th. For a list of voting locations, please visit www.jeffparish.net and please share this video with everyone you know.